Hi, my angels. Come on in. I'm so happy that you're here. If you're new here, thank you so much for giving my channel a chance. Please be willing, hit that subscribe button below. It helps my channel to grow. And for those that are returning, thank you. Your support means everything to me. Before we begin tonight's video, first let me say, yes, I'm still wearing the eyelashes from the e.l.f. video. You guys are lucky I'm not still wearing all the stickers too because that was just so much fun. I hope you all enjoyed it. That was for entertainment. This is a real ASMR video to help us get some sleep, okay? Yeah. This is gonna be very soft-spoken with just a little bit of whispering now and again, okay? So, upcoming things. Please keep next Sunday open um, on the 20th. I'm going to be having a birthday party for you. Um, I've heard from quite a few people who um, don't celebrate their birthdays as much as they should be. And you all deserve to be celebrated. So I'm going to celebrate you, okay? We're gonna have cupcakes. We're going to blow out some candles. I'm gonna remember stories from when I met you as a child. It's, well, of course, presents. Yes, it's going to be a celebration of you, okay? Also, I do now finally have a P.O. box. The address is in the description. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, what I'm planning to do is a card exchange with all of you. So if you want to send me a postcard, I will send one back to you. As we get closer to Christmas or that whatever holiday you're celebrating, um, we can exchange holiday cards as well. Um, I'm very excited to do that. I want to do it in a way to prove to all of you that we are connecting, um, that we are making the world a little bit smaller as we join together, okay? We are all in this together, and that's what I want for you guys. So. Another present I did buy for all of us is a new book. It's called Mindfulness Meditation for Beginners, 50 Meditations to Practice Awareness, Acceptance and Peace by Don Mar Mariccio. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. I did pick up this book on Amazon. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to, to read it to you guys and we We'll just open at random pages and read a few and maybe tonight you guys can do a meditation based on something from here okay so before we begin and for those that are new i do like everyone to get ready so we're going to be where we're comfortable you're going to make the lighting the way you like it you can have it light you can have it dark um, a night light very bright everything except for lit candles. That's Auntie Angel's rule. See, Auntie. My rule is no lit candles when you're trying to relax or trying to sleep. It can be dangerous and I want you guys safe, okay? Electric and battery operated candles are fabulous. Now, the next thing I want you to do is go where you're comfortable. If it's a bed, if it's um, a hammock, if it's a couch, a chair, cushions on the floor, whatever makes you comfortable, yoga mat, whatever makes you comfortable. I want you to be there. And I want you to really get comfortable, okay? And make sure the room is the way you want it, okay? Did you guys see the new backdrop? We just added some flower garlands and what? It's floral. <laughs> so once you're comfortable, if you need a blanket, get a blanket. I'll wait. Hey, you there, you. Put those matches away. There's no lit candles. I see you. Okay, now we're gonna do our breathing. And again, for those that have forgotten or are new, we always do three deep breaths. We breathe in through our nose for a count of whatever you can do. I suggest four, but if you can only do one or two, that's fine too. Whatever is easiest for you. So we do that, we do the same count for a gentle hold, and then we breathe out for the same amount of time, okay? And the reason we do this is to make it a routine so that as we're doing it, our brain actually connects and says, oh, I get it. This is the time we relax. It becomes routine, a habit, if you will, okay? 
So let's do it together, shall we? Begin through the nose. Two, three, four. Gentle hold. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. Good job. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. A gentle hold. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Do the last one together. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Gentle hold. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. Excellent. And continue doing that if you want. Shall we begin reading and see if we can find ways to make ourselves feel relaxed tonight? And Angel still needs the glasses. The eyelashes don't help. <laughs> okay, so let's open it up. So, this one is... So the first part of the book deals with being comfortable, okay? Um, so the second one is mindfulness meditations so this one says and this takes oh, five minutes guys simply stop and observe there are only two mistakes one can make along the road to truth not going all the way and not starting unknown some days it might feel utterly impossible to get to your designated meditation space for formal practice not to fret. The good news is that meditation is a lot more accessible than we think. It's as simple as taking a moment to stop. Stop, take a breath, observe, and proceed. On those it's impossible to meditate days, set your alarm to ring at some point during the day and block off five minutes for the following practice. Step one, Find a place to practice for a few minutes. It doesn't need to be anywhere fancy. You could lean against a wall, sit in your car, even in front of your computer. You could lay next to a pile of laundry or even stand at a red light. If you're holding something, put it down or away so that you can fully relax. If you feel comfortable doing so, you can also close your eyes. Take a few long, deep breaths, slow. Either exhale deeply or let each breath go with a big sigh. Take as many of these breaths as you need. Whenever you're ready to return to your natural breathing, whether it's through your mouth or nose, do so. With your eyes open or closed, observe your surroundings. Hear any sounds, sense any movements, see any objects, smell any smells, and feel any sensations that may be present in this moment. After a few moments of tuning into your surroundings, blink your eyes a few times and proceed with your day. Now, an adjustment to this. The practice is easily portable and can be done in as little as 15 seconds. Just stop, take a deep breath, observe and proceed. Now we have talked about doing just that before. Sometimes you just have to take a moment and it belongs to you, no one else. It's something you don't have to give to anyone else. It's simply something you do for yourself. You've earned it, you deserve it, and you don't have to justify it, okay? That's from Auntie, Auntie Angel. Shall we do another? Because these are actually quite good. This one takes five minutes as well. Coming home to your body. I'm doing this so you don't get the glare, not because I like looking like a library, sexy library, but library. Okay, this is the quote. Caring for myself is not self-indulgence. It is self-preservation. And that is an act of political warfare. Audrey Lord. It is true, self-preservation, not self-centeredness or indulgence or anything else. Meditation is often mistaken as a mental practice, but really it is an embodiment practice. All the techniques aim to bring the body and mind into the same place, right here, right now. As easy as it sounds, it can be challenging. 
because we are so used to running from one thing to the next, planning, strategizing, or worrying. Regardless of our best intentions, efforts, or resolutions, our minds will rest anywhere but here. This practice and mindfulness in general helps us live in and through the body. Now the steps it calls for. After you, number one, after you've settled into your posture, whether it's sitting, standing, or lying down, bring your attention to your breath. For six slow, deep breaths, do your best to keep a relaxed, focused awareness on your breathing. Two, expand this relaxed, focused awareness to include your entire body. You're not dropping awareness of breath, but widening your awareness to include both the breath and the body. From head to toe, see if anything is attracting your attention. You're not looking for anything specific. You're just opening up your attention in a way that can receive whatever may be present. If nothing is attracting your attention, keep your awareness on your breath. If or when a physical sensation is strong to become a dominant experience, place your awareness there, letting go of being with the breath for a few short moments. Use a simple word to describe what you're feeling, such as tingling or heat. Afterwards, return to being aware of your breath and body until another strong sensation arises. Four. Continue practicing in this way, going from the breath to the body to a physical sensation whenever it arises. This sounds really good. I'm very, very glad that I got this book for us, guys. Right. All right, let's try. This one's called Listen In, and it takes about seven minutes. So, the quote is, In every sound, the hidden silence sleeps, by Dijon Stojanovic. If you have the ability to hear and haven't experienced any hearing issues, you may not have given your hearing much thought. But before it gets impaired, Take a moment to celebrate it. Much like standing and walking, hearing happens all day long. We're just not usually aware of it, unless something really pleasant, like birds singing or a favorite band, or unpleasant, like a jackhammer, catches our attention. This meditation will guide you through using sounds as an object of focus and show that you don't need to react to everything that you hear. Right now we have a lot of construction on my street. Um, so yeah, I could really use with being able to block that out. So here's the steps that they give. Number one, once you've settled into your meditation posture, sitting, standing, or lying down, tune in to the sounds and movements going on around you. There can be even be an experience of hearing as a felt sense in the body. Two, Observe sounds for what they are. Notice how they are constantly coming and going outside of your control. Three, you don't need to do anything with the sounds. You don't need to add to them, change them, or make them go away. Four, notice without judgment, if possible, any changes in intensity and volume as sounds continue to come and go. Of course, you will notice when sounds are pleasant and when they are not. That's part of mindfulness. If you find yourself getting tense in response to a sound, take a deep breath and relax. If you find yourself craving more of a sound, same thing. Take a deep breath and relax. The sound will come and go regardless of any holding on or pushing away that you might do. Six, tune in to the sensations of your body and notice any differences between when you resist a sound, grasp, or want more of a sound, and when you simply hear a sound. That's very interesting. That's, that's very, very interesting. Okay, this one, we're going to do two more, guys. This one is called All the Feels, 
and it takes seven minutes. And the quote is, may the choices, sorry, may your choices reflect your hopes, not your fears. And that's by Nelson Mandela. That's something that I, we really need to think about because <laughs> it's very true. There is a natural phenomenon that happens when you process stimuli through your senses. An unconscious categorization of the stimuli as pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. In Buddhism, this is called feeling tone or vendana. Forgive me if I mispronounce. It is worthy of exploration because our lives are chiefly spent strategizing how to increase pleasant feelings and avoid unpleasant ones. By regularly observing the feeling tone of an experience, we are cultivating a skill that helps us notice that things happening outside of us impact us on a subtle level. And from there, we react. With practice, we can begin to see clearly and choose our reactions wisely. Step one, begin the subtle practice of softening. Relax your body, relax your effort. Make this moment exactly as it is. Two, turn your attention to your breath. Feel it flow in and out naturally. Keep your awareness of your breath soft and relaxed. Three, when a sound, feeling, or thought grabs your attention, notice if you have any subtle reactions to it. Do you like it? Dislike it? Feel relatively neutral about it? Your relationship to the distraction gives you a hint as to whether you find it pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. When the distraction is no longer gripping, return your attention to your breath. Four. The next time a distraction takes you away from your breath, tune into your relationship with it. Once you've recognized the like, dislike, or neutrality, acknowledge your reaction. I'm sorry, I lost my place. You don't need to produce feelings intentionally since they arise on their own. You're just trying to notice what you're feeling. Five, as the meditation comes to an end, commit to seeing how pleasant, unpleasant, and neutral experience show up in your daily life and how feeling tone has an impact on the choices that you make. save the last one to help us sleep and it's called sink into sleep and it, the time it takes is 15 minutes and the quote is from Brene Brown talk to yourself as you would to someone you love I say this to you guys all the time a lot of us live full and busy lives starting the minute we wake up and ending the moment we go to bed for many of us though, our day doesn't actually end when we go to bed. If we didn't provide a spacious opportunity in the lead up to bedtime to relax and unwind without devices, except for ASMR, we might not realize we are still holding on physically and mentally when we lay down. This meditation invites you to really and fully settle into where you are and what you're trying to do, sleep. Step one, snuggle yourself into bed and take some deep breaths. Ground yourself in this moment by becoming aware of your body exactly as it is now. Two, laying on your back or side, get comfortable and commit to a relaxed stillness. Do your best to stay still since movement activates the mind and brings energy to the body. I added the side because it hurts me when I lay on my back and it might hurt some of you. So. Make sure your arms hang slightly away from the sides of your body. Relax your shoulders and face. Two, become aware of your surroundings, the temperature in the room, the lighting, sounds, movements. Three, feel your body. Without adjusting, Notice if you're leaning more on one foot than the other or more towards your heels or your toe. After a few minutes, gently sway back and forth, forward and back, 
trying to find a balanced point. You know what? Two pages were stuck together. Well, Auntie Angel can make a mistake too. I hope I didn't throw anyone off balance. <laughs> Let's go back. Forget the standing on your feet and swaying. We're not doing Step three, sink your body into the mattress. You may think you are already relaxed, but we unknowingly bring some of the holding on of our daily life into bed with us. Four, place your hands on your body and take full, slow, deep breaths. With each exhale, tune into your body, letting go and sinking into the mattress little by little. It may take time and be subtle. There's no rush. Five, at the same time, take full belly breaths that aren't forced, as this too can increase energy. Breathe easily, making the exhales a little longer than the inhales. Six, if your mind or energy is feeling some restlessness, scan your body from head to toe. Each time you scan over a part of your body, intentionally soften it more deeply into the bed. There's even a challenge, guys. Feeling pressured or stressed to sleep will only make it harder. When this happens, focus on paying attention to one half breath at a time. Okay, I'm really glad I got this book for us, guys. We'll go into it more deeply. So it's Mindfulness Meditation for Beginners by Don Mar Maruccio. And guys, I hope that all, most of you are asleep by now. I really do. But if you're not, close your eyes. Take your breaths and go to sleep with the knowledge that I love you, I value you, I honor you, and I'm so very, very glad that you were